comes to email on Emacs, there's a lot of choices. You know, you got MUT. No, MUT. I don't think there's a MUT package in Emacs, but you have not much. You have M4, UE, you have GNU's, and of course you have Rmail. Of course, there are a whole bunch more, but these are like the popular ones, except Rmail, which comes uh, pre built in Emacs, just like GNU's does, but a lot of people aren't really a fan of it because it's so simple, but it works for me. I mean, I get a decent amount of email on my main email account and it does what I need to. I can sort it out pretty well. Anyway, you can see here I have an inbox open already. I can select an email. Uh, I already sent a few emails to myself. This is a testing account that I created just for this video. And well, I can reply to an email, I can delete them, I can sort them into files, but we'll talk about that after I talk about how I got here. So I'm just going to show you a few configuration files, the first one being .profile, and if you don't know, a .profile file pretty much runs a whole bunch of shell commands as soon as you log in. And these are two important environment variables that we are going to set. And the first important one here is mail. Now it looks like this, export mail, protocol, account, colon, password, at, host. So to follow along with the export here, I'm going to use the protocol IMAPS, which is IMAP secure. So IMAP is a protocol for getting mail. It's a little bit newer than POP. It's a little bit older than JMAP. It works for me. And my account name, my test at muto.ca. And what's different here already between these two lines is that this is an at symbol, but up here it's percent four O or percent forty. And that's important actually. Some mail programs will complain to you if you use an at symbol, and they won't complain to you if you use percent four zero, which is a representation of the at symbol. Basically percent forty is some kind of ANSI code or ASCII code for the at symbol, and it's completely synonymous with at, but some clients will actually get mad at you if you don't use percent for o. So that's the one confusing thing about this. Now I'm going to use a colon to say now this is the time to input my password, which is 459928x44z. Four, four, of course I'm going to change that as soon as I upload this video because I don't want anyone logging into my email account. Uh, and I'm sure there are better ways to do this, but I can't remember them off the top of my head right now. Anyway, at, and this time we actually use an actual at symbol, at host. So my host is mail.gandy.net because I registered my domain on gandy.net. And if I go there and I log in and I check my email status on gandy.net, it'll tell me your email host is mail.gandy.net. So it shouldn't be too difficult to find out what your email host is. Now, that's all you really have to do. My other exported variable is called mail host, which I don't think you actually need, but it doesn't hurt to have. But now the next file that I'm going to look at is called emacs.d init.el. And this file is exactly the same as the .emacs file. If you have a .emacs file, .emacs.d init.el is the same file. So I don't have a .emacs file, I only use init.el because I don't want everything in my home directory. I'd rather have Emacs related stuff in my Emacs directory. So that's kind of nice to have. Anyway, in here I have my variables and I have set Q. So I just have one set Q command with a whole bunch of uh, variables and their values inside of it. Uh, I think that's kind of nice to have. I know a lot of people use multiple set Q variables, but I just have them all listed out here in one set Q. So in my mail section, which is right here, 
I have a few variables. Send mail function is SMTMP mail send it, which is the simple mail transfer protocol implementation uh, in Emacs. So you can use this line. Our mail preserve inbox T is another important line. It basically means keep all your mail on the inbox instead of deleting it when you download new mail. But this can be a problem for you. In fact, it probably is a problem. So I'm going to mention that pretty soon here. Default file is also something that I'll mention later, but the two other important lines is user mail address, user full name. So when someone receives an email from me, they're going to see my email, uh, my email address in the from section, and they're also going to see my full name, Tester McTestman, in the from section as well. And our mail file name is whenever I start our mail, this is where my inbox is going to be. It's going to throw all my new mail into the R mail file. Emacs.d slash my mail slash R mail is where all my file is, is where my uh, inbox file is. So that's important. And that's all there really is. So if I go MX R mail, it'll check for new mail. Here we go. And this is a starting up the problem I was talking about. Bah, here. If you have preserve inbox set to true, whenever I'm going to use G to get more mail. And as you can see, I got all the same mail again. And if I press G to get more mail, since all the mail is still on the server, it thinks it's new mail. So this is a problem. What I do is I have my main computer. I'm going to delete all these using the D key and then X to delete them all. So I'm just going to get those mails again. What I do is I have a computer downstairs, which is my main computer, and I do not have... Hold on, let me go back. On my main computer, I do not have this line. When I check my mail on my main computer, it downloads all the mail from the server and it deletes all the mail on the server. So that this problem doesn't happen up here. And you should probably do that too. You shouldn't keep all your mail on someone else's computer, you should have all your mail locally stored. Okay, I, that's just my opinion. I think it's kind of weird to trust someone else to take care of your mail for you. So yeah, definitely download your mail. But I do that for two reasons. I do that for my own safety. Oh, don't want to give you the finger there. I do that for my own safety and uh, privacy, and I do that so that this computer with our mail preserve inbox true does not always download duplicate mails. So I hope that's making some sense. Now if I go back to my mail, uh, you can see I have some mail here, and I'm going to press M, and I'm going to send a new mail. So pressing M in your inbox will actually start sending a mail. And I'm going to send one to shack at muto.ca, which is my main email addresses. Uh, so hit me up there if you want to talk about this video or whatever. I'm going to say subject you stink like garbage. And I'm going to say to this guy, you suck balls. Okay. Now I'm going to send this with control C, control S. And I'm going to receive that email on this tiny little computer. So please give me a moment while I receive some mail. You can't see that, but I got the mail on my main mail account and I'm going to reply to it. I'm going to say, oh, okay. All right. Now, I'm going to go back to my mail. And I'm going to get more mail. Of course, this is going to duplicate my mail. 
but I'll also get one more reply. And of course you can say, you can see I got one from muto, shack at muto.ca to tester mctestman, my test at muto.ca. And of course you have the text, I mean it's just email, you know how email works. But that works well. Anyway, what if I want to put this file into a separate file? So, for example, this is my inbox, and it works, but I don't want to keep all my mail in my inbox, so I want to put this mail into a separate file. So I'm going to press O, and it says output message to mail file, default test. So I'm going to say test2. Actually, I'll put it into a test. Now, if I press I, I can select my test file. And test is an R mail file. So there's actually two mails in here. I put this one in here before, and I put this one in here now. So, as you can see, it's just like the inbox file. It's exactly the same kind of format as the inbox file, except I choose what files I want to go into here, so you can have a separate our mail file for family members or friends or uh, email account creation notifications or whatever. You can have accounts up the wazoo or uh, you can have files up the wazoo and it works well. And I'm pretty sure that's all I really have to talk about. Of course you can reply to a mail by pressing R which will reply to a mail and that's fine, it doesn't really matter, you can write whatever you want and send it off. But uh, yeah, it just, you know, it works like it's supposed to. I don't have any problems with it. I think it's fine.